Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, today, I'm gonna go outside and uh, have a hike in uh, a nature reservoir close to uh, the area I live in, and uh, let's go. We have arrived. So, I have arrived. Um, as far as uh, where we're going, I don't know. I'm just hiking up this uh, steep little hill. I can see some bicyclists, bicycle individuals riding atop. And we're just going to be enjoying our uh, grounded, nature filled day. There they are. There you go. So, humans all around. Humans are very prevalent today in the forest, but uh, we will uh, try and find solitude any way we can. So, let's go. This is a really green rock. So guys, quickly something I wanted to touch and I'm being called. I'm being called, okay. So guys, quickly something I want to uh, share uh, with you is that if you're uh, going through a traumatic event or uh, something that has impacted you on a deep, deep level and uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna get any better. Well, it will. Uh, I know time is not a real thing, but for us in this three-dimensional world, it might as well be because it's real and it's not real. And let me explain why that is. Because time is real for us because we age, right? Our bodies break down, everything is constantly dying and um, being born. So there is a, there's a cyclical a cycle that just keeps going, right? So there's a cyclical nature to this world. Where time is not a real thing is in other altered states of consciousness, uh, where you're not actually operating with this, you know, egoic persona that you traverse this world in, but uh, you're actually traversing those worlds with the higher self, with uh, your, your real self your non-egoic self, your soul, let me just say that. Uh, but everything you do here is pretty much egoic. You know, you can try and manage that ego as much as you want, but I've noticed that the ego is not something to oppress and like beat up. God damn, almost fell there. <laughs> the ego is not something to oppress or like beat up or like be ashamed of. It's something that you should, you know, live in unity with. That's the yin and yang. Because your soul is already pure in, in nature, it's not gonna, it's not tainted, it's not, it's not really, it, it doesn't really have, I suppose, negative quality, qualities to it. Um, although, people do say, ah oh damn, some mushroom right there. Definitely not gonna in, ingest that. <laughs> but uh, people definitely say that in other realms they can or in high psychedelic realms they can uh, see other people for who they really are in their soul and basically see that what they have done in this world will translate to some degree to the next world and I think that makes sense if that is so I don't know you know I can't tell that for sure but uh is definitely something to keep in mind or to just be fascinated by. I'm fascinated by it, so yeah.
So guys, uh, this place reminds me a lot of Skyrim. It always has, to be honest. Um, well, I mean, for obvious reasons. I mean, look at these like grass fields, like these these landscapes. They're very reminiscent of Skyrim, and it's a game I really love playing. So this uh, place is always guaranteed to give uh, a healing energy. You know, it's a really grounding, earthing feel to it. That you're not the only thing that matters. You're part of this entire ecosystem. So. That's, uh, I think, why a lot of people should be in the woods more often, because it really does uh, give uh, give a very interesting, grand perspective. If you're willing to see that, of course. Because some people, they are too programmed by society to not even validate those things or, or think those things have any value whatsoever. So they just kind of, they don't get it, pretty much. So, yeah. <clears throat> Roll through the city windows down whipping I got too many holes. Let's get off the street. I don't think I've been on this path before, but uh, fuck it. You know, we're just gonna see where the hell this leads us to. Because there is some sort of path here, as you can see, treading all the way down there. So yeah, the only thing I know that, uh, as far as animals uh, that live here, is uh, wild boars and snakes. It's autumn. Uh, and foxes, and uh, and deers, some deers. But um, yeah, as far as bears, wolves, I think we good on that. You know, you know. Today, um, I was uh, I was chilling with my boys, chilling with my friends, and they were uh, they were talking to me like, "Oh God damn, look at that, that's a deer!" Fuck, I don't think I caught it on camera. That was a deer. That was a deer. God damn. Fuck. That was dope. Alright, cool. So, <laughs> as I was just mentioning, deers are here. And uh, I guess that's the universe talking to me and saying, yeah, you're right, deers are here. <laughs> that was really cool. Too bad I didn't capture that motherfucker on camera. What a beautiful, beautiful creature though. Like, Often, like, imagination doesn't even come close to reality and how weird it really is. It's insane. Oh, that, was, that, was, that was really cool. I fought with that. It was nice. So, to catch up on a topic I was talking about earlier, was uh, with my friends, they were talking, uh, they were saying pretty much, oh, so you're going biking alone in the woods? Like, totally alone? Like, they couldn't believe it. And I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah, fuck yeah. Like, that's the problem with today's society. I know, I don't want to sound like a edgy millennial that knows better, but I mean, let's be honest, it's not, it's very unnatural for that to be weird, you know? Like, oh, you're doing this alone? Like, you don't need anyone to constantly talk to you and reassure your belief systems and values and all that? No, I don't. I don't. If you're wondering why I'm wearing these high-ass socks it's to like walk in between like high grasslands so I don't get like ticks or like fucking bugs that are biting in my legs, calves, you know, lower leg, I guess. We're going here. I've never been to these places, but I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Just exploring and uh, finding out for yourself. So if I encounter a boar that, uh, charges me and attacks me, then I am going to have to deal with that. Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with that, you know? That's not going to be fun. That's going to be very, uh, very dangerous. Uh, because boars are very aggressive when they are trying to protect their cubs uh, or offspring. And, uh, you know, it could be a very dangerous situation for myself. But uh, then 
we have to resort to the primal fight or flight response and we will either fight or <laughs> take flight but uh i'm pretty sure i would stand my ground and you know not run from it because there's no point in running from a boar like he's gonna catch up to you he's faster so So, um, I'll be chilling, man. I'll be chilling. Like, there's no bullshit going on in the woods, which is why it's so good to come here and to experience this peace, you know, for yourself. And to just really, you know, get back in touch with nature because this uh, concrete world we live in, it's not meant for humans, bro. Like, that's just my opinion. I don't think it's uh, it's right for people to live in a concrete zoo. So there's some humans right there. So uh, what I was saying is, <laughs> for those people, okay, it is not uh, right for people to just live in a concrete zoo. And what I mean with a concrete zoo is basically just a city. Um, a place that just has a lot of houses and, uh, you know, infrastructure in terms of cars and, and all that jazz. Um, I don't think it's right to just only know that. I think that's very harmful to your psyche, actually. And, uh, on a subconscious level, so I don't think you're even aware of it. Um, I'm actually walking next to a road here, so I might turn back because... I don't want it to get too noisy. Anyway, something I just uh, saw, uh, really funny actually. It was this family, this entire family, right? So, it was obviously a family, like obviously, like fucking obviously a family. And um, they were all wearing masks, like literally. All of them were wearing masks, like, like the, like, like what? Like, like why? Like. <laughs> Like, you're in the fucking woods. You're literally in the safest area you could ever be in, in terms of sickness, disease, viruses, whatever the fuck. Like, you're in the most safe zone ever, and you're here walking in the woods with your family with these fucking, with these masks on. That's what I mean when fucking society is stupid. Like, people just get brainwashed. You know, I don't mean to judge or be an asshole, but... That shit is fucking stupid, man. Like, that's that's some, like, level one government programming right there. <laughs> that's just fucking <clears throat> not being able to think for yourself. That's just the sheep, and that's just, like, that sheep mentality, bro. Like, that's why, you know, a lot of people now are coming up with these, you know, spiritual, spiritual, like, uprisings and all, all over the world where people are just getting super spiritual to the point where it's like maybe even a little bit toxic, you know, which isn't good, you know, because there are wrong ways to interpret spirituality where you think you're better and higher than everything and everyone. You might vibrate higher, but, you know, you're still just the same in the end, you know, in the, in the very end, you're the same, the same soul, the same consciousness. There is no such thing as, oh, that's your consciousness and that's my consciousness. No, it's just, it is just consciousness. And that's, I think, the thing that once you die, you go up, I mean, up, you just, you just go, you cease to be here, and that consciousness gets absorbed into, to, into the collective consciousness, where uh, it's just pure bliss. So, yeah, man, like, seeing people like that, a whole family of four, all wearing masks, like kids fucking kids all wearing masks and just doing what the fuck the government tells them to do like fucking robots without thinking for themselves that shit is sad that shit saddens me to my core so yeah man I'm gonna turn around so, where the fuck did I end up look at this road just road just road
All right, yeah, we're turning back around. All right, you know, see that? Yeah, we're coming for that. Yeah. All right, yeah. See you. See you later. Can't fucking hold my god. You see guys, to be honest, once you can be comfortable with yourself, that's it. Like, you've uh, pretty much acquired wealth at that point, you know. Once you can just be good by yourself days and days on end, then you know that, alright, I've achieved something here, you know. I've achieved a supreme state of, of peace within myself. So, that's just something to note. Just, just a little note for myself. Also, I'm trying to be weary of the energy that I put out to people, to humans in general. I just try to be really cautious about that shit and to just, you know, take note of that altogether. Again, bro, again. I just met two people again that had masks on. Just literally a, a mom and her kid wearing masks. In the fucking forest, like why? That's that's just sad to see what society has come to. That's really sad. That really does sadden me in a way. There's a bench. Sit down. Yeah, I've acquired a bench. That's nice. Um, yeah, I was saying like I'm really cautious of like the energy that I put out to people because. I try to be the most genuine version of myself, you know, the most uncontrived version, like the least contaminated by society version of myself, right? Because a lot of the times, man, you, might, you probably notice this as well, you're very, um, like you kind of almost subconsciously make your uh, language and what you say and what you do kind of make it sound cooler to like present yourself in a more likable way, like, oh, look, this is me and I'm this, this thing, but you're really just not any of that. Just try and be the most spontaneous, genuine version of yourself, you know? And, um, you know, why? Another reason why I'm very, uh, very, uh, concerned about the energy I put out to other people is because I wish to be a good force in this world. I don't wish to be a hateful, negative thing in this, uh, in this already too negative world, you know? So, I try to do what I can to pretty much you know, uh, lessen that to a certain extent, um, and it kind of, uh, show that, oh, you can also do it this way, and that's also just completely cool and acceptable, you know, that's kind of how I see it, but, um, when I walk past people, especially now in these corona times, man, yeah, people just are really antisocial, like, this is just, this is more, so <laughs> this is like a Belgian thing, like, I swear to God, a lot of Belgian people, they just don't say hello back, like, at all. That, the only thing I say, like, is just, like, hoi. And hoi means just hey in, in, in where I'm from, so. 
And some people just nod and they like acknowledge and that's fine. That's that's good too, you know, but just acknowledge your other fellow human being, you know, just don't don't just fucking ice them and just fucking stare down to the ground or almost like look like who the fuck are you type thing. Like that's so incredibly not not cool. Like that's that's just fucking like come on. I'm gonna eat a little bit. So yeah. And I don't mean that too literally. Like don't you know, like go out of your way, like for instance, like those people back there. Like I'm not gonna yell hello to them like from here, right? Like I'm not gonna do that. That that would just be like that would just be weird, you know? So just just simple shit. Like when you're passing someone by, just when you're passing a human being by another persona, another being in this world, just just um say hello just show your best side and if they don't say hello back hey it is what it is you know what i'm saying but those are like little micro micro details that make your view on society as a whole way different if everyone is just more spontaneous and open and loving pretty much just loving in general you know because that's in the end of the day what all humans want you know everyone just wants to be loved everyone just wants to have a fucking place in the world where they know okay people care about me and I care about myself and I care about them and it's just a uh, equally divided uh, relationship I guess but that does a lot you know if you come into a strange country and everyone's just like looking at you like this like you're not gonna feel well like you're not gonna be you're not gonna feel comf comfy you're not gonna be comfortable pretty much so that's how I view it and that's how I see it uh, so yeah just be nice to people just be nice. That's a simple thing. Just if it's a stranger, just be nice. And then you did your part. You know, if they if they don't want to share that energy, if they're too caught up in themselves or too bitter at the world to even give that small little bit of positivity back, then that's that's on them, you know. You did your part. see I tend to do some crazy shit sometimes but I ain't going in there yeah so um, currently I'm uh, searching for a place to meditate to uh, to tap into the universal awareness oh boy oh boy we found the spot. I'm not going to stay for too long. Like, I'm going to meditate for like 20 minutes maximum because uh, I still have to get home. And uh, I'm with the bike and all, so, yeah. And it gets dark around 6, and it's almost... Wait, how late is it anyway? Let me check. 5, huh? Wait, yeah, and it's 5 now, so... Yeah. Okay, guys. Damn, my voice sounds weird. Anyway, um... Yeah, I just did the Wim Hof method. You know, I use the Wim Hof meth meth. I use the Wim Hof method uh, if I want to have a quicker meditation session. Um, it's very effective on like getting you into that um, clear, unemotional, and completely pristine and aware state of mind in a matter of couple minutes you know 15 15 minutes I actually meditated for 15 minutes and I already feel brand new like I feel good I feel re-energized recharged and uh, I like this little spot I found it doesn't look very covered in but it's it's pretty covered in it's like this tree hanging over me pretty cool anyway let's go as you can see it's getting dark and uh, it's time to go home pretty much so goddamn it's dark as I thought imagine if I would have meditated for like 30 minutes I would have been I would have been fucked so uh, 
thank you for watching. This was a simple, peaceful day out in the woods. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just a nice, wholesome, earthing moment in time. I wish you all peaceful, loving vibrations. I'm out. Peace.